So we start off our trip to Hong Kong Disneyland in a really unique way. You get to the park by taking a train. I'm not talking a monorail, I'm talking a real train. There are nods to all things Disney, from the windows to the handles to statues throughout the cabins. There are also nods to the man himself and his love for trains. By the way, that's me, former PhotoPass cast member and lover of all things Disney. The entrance features a lovely fountain featuring your favorite Fab Five. Oh, say that five times fast. You can get your tickets from a person, or if you hate people, also from a machine. The entrance to Disneyland is a carbon copy of the California entrance, except it features a very sunburnt Mickey Mouse. Make sure you pick up a times guide and a map at the entrance. Oh my gosh, everything is in Chinese! What are you? Just kidding! Everything throughout the park is in both Chinese and English. Main Street looks the same as all the other Main Streets, except for the buildings are a little bit shorter and there are mountains in the background. They even have a fire department, but it feels kind of sacrilegious to not have Walt's lamp looking over everyone. Oh, hey there, PhotoPass cast member. Although this is beautiful, it feels kind of strange to not have the classic Walt and Mickey statue. And the castle is lovely, and I especially love being able to see mountains. Prepare to see a lot of selfie sticks. Mine included. Grizzly Gulch is an area that is exclusive to Hong Kong Disneyland, but it is very reminiscent of Frontierland. Big Grizzly Mountain is the main thrill ride in Grizzly Gulch. It's very reminiscent of Thunder Mountain Railroad, just a little less intense. It's still a wild ride and worth going on. There's even a bit where you go backwards. Now my favorite section of the park is Mystic Point because it is home to what I consider one of the greatest Disney rides ever created, Mystic Manor. The manor is the Asian equivalent of the Haunted Mansion, but due to religious reasons regarding the dead, they don't have ghosts. It is the story of this guy and his little monkey friend and their adventures and the different artifacts that they've collected over the years. The queue is really interesting. You get to look at many of these artifacts and learn about the story before actually going into the ride. The ride is about this music box that this little monkey meddles with and then it causes all of the artifacts to come to life. And mayhem ensues. It's fun, imaginative, and there's no ride quite like it. If you're in search of a nice sit-down restaurant, try the Emperor's Club. They have cuisine from all over the world, and they have these nice little models that show you exactly what you're going to eat. In fact, they have these throughout the park, so no worries, you'll always know what you're about to consume. The next area is Toy Story Land. Now this area is kind of geared toward the younger crowd, but it's still a great area to walk through. It shrinks you down to toy size, which is a really interesting perspective. The only thrill ride is RC Racer. I could try and tell you what it is, but why don't you just watch and make up your own mind. It's a fun ride, but unfortunately it can only fit about 20 people at a time, so the queue always takes a while. But it's worth at least one ride. Now let's talk snacks for a minute, okay? Although Hong Kong Disneyland does not carry the pineapple Dole Whip, they have their own version, a mango Dole Whip, which actually I kind of like more. And then you can also put toppings on it, just as you see here. Just do yourself a favor and get one while you're there. Welcome to Fantasyland. Fantasy is filled with many of the classics that you can find in any other park, such as Philhar Magic and Dumbo. You won't find Peter Pan, though. Winnie the Pooh is the very popular ride that always has a long queue, but no worries, fast passes abound in Hong Kong Disneyland. Fantasy Gardens is the place to go if you want to get that very special picture with that very special character. And of course, no park would be complete without its very own It's a Small World. 
The ride is very classic, except it features a Hong Kong display. To be honest, Tomorrowland is probably the most disappointing area in the whole park. It just doesn't have the same magic or magnitude that it does in other parks. However, it does come with its own Space Mountain, Stitch Encounter, Autopia, and other classic rides. If you're craving some classic Western food, Starliner Diner is a great place to go. They offer, what else? Burgers! From the worst to the best, Hong Kong Disneyland's Adventureland is probably the best Adventureland I've ever been to. It is huge, it is detailed, it's just fantastic. First, jump on a boat and head over to Tarzan's Treehouse. Next, head over to the Jungle Cruise and pick the queue with the language that you need your skipper to speak. They have English, Cantonese, and Mandarin available. This is a somewhat less kitschy version of Jungle Cruise. I really love it. It actually feels like a ride. Make sure you check out the Flights of Fantasy Parade that happens every afternoon at 3 p.m. It's very similar to the Sensational Parade at Disneyland, but it has its own unique flavor, so make sure you check it out. HK Disneyland offers two amazing shows. The first is the Golden Mickeys, which is played off like an award show. This is a great show for the classic Disney fan because it features more rare Disney gems, such as Hunchback, Tarzan, and Mulan. I wasn't supposed to film in here, but I mean, I'm a rebel, what can I say? <laughs> if anything, just go see the show to hear Mickey Mouse speaking Cantonese. The next show you should check out is the Festival of the Lion King, which if you've seen this in Animal Kingdom, then you know that it's not to be missed. Pro tip, if you try to film in here, you're going to get yelled at by some angry Chinese cast member. And once the sun goes down, the fun can really begin. Hong Kong is home to my favorite Disney parade of all time, Paint the Night Parade. I never thought that anything could beat the Electrical Light Parade, but I have to admit, this one takes the cake. This is an absolute must when you go to Hong Kong Disneyland. I mean, look, they have eight foot tall dancing roses. Okay, chick, get up out my shot. And of course, no day is complete without staying for the magical Disneyland fireworks. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check out gracegoesglobal.com for more.